Today I want to talk about welding carts and one I built about five years ago. I think you guys are going to like it. Hey guys, welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. My name's Dale. Today, I wanna to talk about welding carts. But before I do, I want you to please subscribe to the channel. Also, click on that little bell so you get notifications of the next video. So this welding cart, I built it about five years ago and I set it up for welding with a TIG torch. And what makes it unique for TIG is actually this telescoping arm. But I'm gonna get into that a little bit later. I wanna talk about the foundation of this welding cart and how it's set up. So the foundation is, what is this, inch and a half angle iron, making a frame with wheels on it, and setting on top of that is a filing cabinet. And now this is a legal filing cabinet, legal width, and also the depth of it, I think it's 26 or 28 inches long. And it has these three drawers that work out really great, because most filing cabinets you have two large ones. Well, this one is set up differently with short ones on the top and what I like about it is I can keep my foot switch my ground cable also my TIG torch in there I don't like to have anything sitting out that doesn't need to be sitting out because well you know these shops they get really dirty the next drawer is all the welding supplies I need with it plus an extra TIG torch this is the coolest part is where do you put your helmets well these drawers are large enough to actually put two helmets in and it works out really great. Also, I usually have a set of leathers in there. They're either in this cart or another one because I've got four of these carts total, or maybe five of them that I've built. And I like them because they're all identical. When you build one of these frames, things I want you to be aware of is you want the front to be higher than the back. So this is going to slope, slope it about a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. The reason you want to do that, a lot of us are working in garages, and garage floors are tilted. So when this is pointing towards your garage door, it's actually going to be forward and the drawers can open up. Now one way to help prevent that is these actually have locks on them to help prevent that. Also when you're moving around and you stop suddenly, the locks keep the drawers from opening up. The other thing is when the drawers are open and you're on a tilted surface, well, they'll keep going if you haven't closed them. And if you guys are like me, you kind of have a problem with closing drawers all the time. Another thing as I've found being very successful is casters on the front that pivot and then large wheels on the back. I do not understand the physics behind it, but these roll around the shop so much easier than if I were to have four small casters on the entire thing. You just have a lot more control. You're able to roll it over cords easier and just get it around your shop. So that's a really important thing. Also, you'll notice that these sides are straight back. And the advantage of that is that, like I said, I have several of these carts. And this prevents them from locking together when you slide them in with each other. And I find that really important because I like to be able to pull the carts out and put them back in any order I need to, no matter how I'm working in the shop. Back here we have our welding gas. Uh, these are usually wide enough to get two tanks back there if you need to. Now let's talk about the arm and that's what makes this cart extra special. If you'll notice it telescopes out. It holds the cables through these different hooks. And you can easily take the TIG torch off and start welding and put it back really easily. It pivots. Also, you can raise it up if you need to or lower it down, get into a position where you're working. And it just makes it so convenient. No matter where you're at, you can be welding and just hang it up and you're working. Because I always get frustrated with the TIG torch, what to do with it, where to put it safely. Also, the cable being up off the ground prevents you from running into it or it causing you problems. Another thing I like about this is I keep an extra wire in here, an extra filler wire, actually several matter how much welding I do. 
I also have an area that I can slip them into the tube back here. But this is great because when you're welding, it's always nice just have extra wire that you can reach out and grab. It's not laying on the table. Convenient to grab, keeps the wire a little bit cleaner. Well, you guys know what I mean. I've got a uh, Lincoln Square Wave TIG 200 on here. Great machine. Someday I'm going to actually do a review on it. But that's it. Just a great simple cart. Everything, when I move this around, stays with it. And that to me is really important. I'm not having to go all over trying to find different parts or components or where they at today. That's all housed right here. All right, you guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me some thumbs up. Also, leave some comments. Make them positive, supportive comments. And until next time, go out in your shop and build a welding cart. All right, guys, take care.